and we love her too from Tucson, Arizona to New York City. Today's oh, yeah. show host Savannah <laughs> Guthrie. Oh, these are great <laughs> old pictures. She makes the Grand Canyon State proud. Yeah, Team 12's Paul Gerke got a chance to catch up with her. Paul, I'm guessing she's as busy as you are. Yeah, she's really busy. We literally had like five minutes of her time when I had a chance to talk to Savannah. And she remembers Emma Jade and was asking about the baby. Not as much about yours truly. I had to remind her of my name, but that's besides the point. I'm not holding a grudge. Do I sound like I'm holding a grudge? New York City is known as a media capital of the world. Did you know that Times Square is actually named for the New York Times? It's also home to a ton of other media entities, including our friends over at the Today Show and co-host Savannah Guthrie, proud Arizona girl raised in Tucson. She uh, actually graduated from the University of Arizona and worked five years at the Tucson NBC affiliate KVOA. I interrupted her busy day to catch up with our native daughter. Where's Gerke going? Behind the scenes at the Today Show to check in on one of our friends from a neighboring time slot. You guys know Savannah. Hello. Savannah, what's changed since the last time we talked Good. to you? What has changed? Well, I mean, probably my hair color, usually. <laughs> Have you noticed? Maybe it's a it's minor weight gain. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's life is nothing. what that is. No, everything's great. Everything's beautiful. We're just happy to have you here in our neck of the woods. Well, it's nice to be back. Let's talk a little bit about work and how you balance it with home life. When we took a behind the scenes tour of the Today Show, I saw you chatting with the little ones on your phone, like trying to squeeze in those little yeah. moments. How do you as a mom balance doing this big high profile job and also being a mom? You know what? I don't really believe in balance. I think sometimes um, you feel like you're really on it at home and sometimes you feel like you're really on top of things at work and rarely do you feel those things both at the same time. But other times, you know, I feel so grateful because my job, while I get up early, middle of the night, I know you know that schedule well, I am home a lot of days in the middle of the day and I can have lunch with my kids. My little boy still takes a nap in the afternoon and so do Lucky I. Lucky you. Yes, <laughs> I, d I take one right next to him. You want to talk about obligations. Social media is becoming more and more of a pervasive thing in our culture. And I know as broadcasters, we're sort of mandated to be a part of that, whether you want to or not. Yeah. Where do you think social media is heading? And do you still find joy in posting parts about your life? Some things I like, you know, I, I like the, the social media where you, you post a picture where it's really, you know, just kind of positive. I like to keep it at that level. I, I have often praise social media, particularly Twitter, because I think it's a good news feed. I follow a lot of reporters. But like everyone, you know, I think I've been discouraged by some of the negativity that's on social media. And for that reason, you know, I don't look at it as much as I used to because I, I you know, I realize that social media for all of its um, good, good aspects, it's not real life, you know? So I'm trying to live like in the real world, not so much in the virtual world. Speaking of your real world, you've traveled all over the place from one assignment to the next. And as a part of this Where Is Gerke Going tour, I've done shows live in different cities each of the last four weeks. Do you have a favorite destination that you've worked that comes to mind? Oh, that I've worked? Well, one of my best trips ever was actually to Australia. I was born in Australia. It's a weird right, factoid about me. Yes, and but we only lived there a couple years, and I don't really remember it at all. So we got to go back. This show has given me really so many great opportunities, but that had to be one of the best. I got to go back. I saw the house we lived in. I saw the room where I was born at the hospital in Melbourne. And even they found the midwives who helped deliver me. I know you've got a tight schedule, but before we go, do you have anything to say to all your peeps out in Arizona? Um, wear your sunscreen, yeah. put your hat on. I love you, enjoy the sunshine. And I miss Arizona all the time, but my heart's still there because my mom and sister are there and my little nephew. Hi to Savannah's mom and sister and little nephew. Thanks for taking the time with us. You Appreciate it. it. Where's Gerke going next? home for a couple days. That's good. Yeah, just to sleep, relax. No place like home. <laughs> I think Savannah was just a little jealous that I got to go back to Arizona, especially when Jimmy's keeping the temperatures in the 80s for us. Appreciate that, man. If you want much more from the Today Show, we've got it coming your way. We're going back to Rockefeller in just a little bit to take you behind the scenes of their enormous production that always follows today in AZ. Ah, that's so good. So, Paul, it looks like you guys are having similar weather to what we're having, which is really weird for New York, and I guess weird for here, too. Yeah, and everybody is enjoying it, too. This place is always a hive of activity, but when the weather's like this, it's even more so. You get about three and a half months, I've been told by the locals out here in New York to soak in the sunshine. So we're enjoying it today for sure. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Paul. Paul's <laughs>